Hello, I'm Bob Ross, and I'd like to welcome you to the joy of painting. We have so many fantastic people all over the country that are painting. They're painting scenes that they never believed possible. And maybe more interesting is their family and friends didn't believe they could ever do it. That's nice when I've got letters from, from young friends' mothers that said, my son or daughter is painting, and they're doing paintings that I can't hardly believe, and they've never had any lessons other than watching the show on television. And from that, they become very interested in art. They begin to experience a little success. And as you probably know, nothing in the world breeds success like success. I really hope you try these kind of paintings. It will, it will allow you freedom to just experiment. And don't be afraid to experiment. Once again, that's where some of the best ideas in the world come from. It's just experimenting and having fun and enjoying your art and enjoying your time with yourself. Or if you do it with a friend or your spouse, it's a good time together. We're not trying to teach you to copy here. We're only trying to teach you a technique and, and turn you loose on the world. Because as I've said before, we all see nature through different eyes. And we all have different interpretations of what things look like. And that may truly, may truly be the joy of painting, is that you do your thing. You paint your world the way that you see it and the way that you want it on canvas. Play. Have fun. There. Painting should always be fun. If it's not fun, then you're doing the wrong thing. There. I have enough things in my life that are unpleasant. So painting is one of those things that I reserve for good times. And make up little stories. It will really help you in, in deciding what you're going to paint. It will give you ideas of, of things to paint. That may be the hardest thing in painting, is not how to paint, but what to paint. And I use this continually to come up with new ideas. In my mind, the scene may be, oh, it may be way out in the woods somewhere, and there was an old trapper that lived out here for many years, and this is what he saw every morning when he woke up. There, and somebody's going to say, well, where's the old trapper? Well, maybe... Maybe he had a bad day and he fell in the river, or maybe he moved back to the city, or wherever you want him to be. I love mountains. I lived in Alaska for nearly a dozen years, and you can't live in Alaska and not appreciate mountains. Now, the mountains in Alaska, they're quite a bit different than this, but you just find an appreciation for mountains in general when you live around them all the time. There we go. But even before I had ever seen mountains, because I was born and raised in Florida, I still liked them. I liked to paint them. And then when I finally got to Alaska, whew, oh, I just went crazy. Because I believe, I believe God was having a good day when he made Alaska. You know how some days things just work for you. Everything you touch works. And I think God was having one of those days when he made Alaska. Because everything seemed to work.